I'm Froggy and here is a My Froggy Stuff mashup. You all asked for a bunk bed mashup, so here it is. We've gone back and picked out some of our favorites that we know you will enjoy. So happy crafting! I was in Target the other day when I found this. It is a 24 inch horizontal stackable organizer. And I thought that with a few adjustments, it would make a great 18 inch doll bed. It comes unassembled, so you'll need an adult to partially put it together. Because if you assemble it without the top, it makes a great wooden bed at a fraction of the cost. Now how about some easy doll bedding using pillowcases? But first, to make a mattress, I take an old towel and fold it into a size that will fit the bed. Then I place it inside a pillowcase and fold in the sides so it's nice and neat. And now you have a nice soft mattress. Use another pillowcase as a comforter, add a few small pillows, and you're done. Great and all, but how do you make the pillows? These are no sew doll pillows. We use small bits of fleece, but felt works just as well, ribbon, and pillow fluff. Take a piece of fleece and fold it up about halfway, then apply some hot glue. Take the top portion, fold it down on top of that glue, and be careful not to uh, burn yourself, and then make sure you didn't just glue it to the other side. Once it dries, Apply a line of glue on one end, lightly stuff it, seal up the open end with hot glue, trim the edges until they're neat, then glue on ribbon for some added detail. And that's it. Okay, so what about bunk beds? Well, the box does say stackable, and they come with pre-drilled holes and little wooden dowels. So just buy two, and then stack them. So there you have it, wooden bunk beds for an 18-inch doll. I am going to make a dorm room for a doll using a cardboard box, extra cardboard, beads, recycled paperboard, printables from our blog, cork coasters, clear plastic from packaging, scrapbook paper, and glue. I start by building our basic box room, where we cut off the tabs on one side of the box, then lay the box on its side, cut a section out of the top, I can reinforce the sides with another layer of cardboard if I plan on stacking multiple boxes. I begin covering the raw edges with strips of white paper. Now I can plan to use one of the printable windows from our blog, or I can cut out an opening for a window. Cover the raw edges with paper, trace the negative cutout from the window onto a piece of cardboard, cut it out, cut out a border around it, cut two for the window, then cover with paper. Cover the walls of the box with paper. We chose to cover the back wall with brick paper and wood on the floor. To tone down the color of the bricks, I am going to lightly dry brush them with white acrylic paint to give them a worn painted look. I add strips of paper to the corners for baseboards and cover the outside as well. Trace the negative from the window onto a piece of clear plastic. Cut it out, leaving a small border around the edge. Cut it in half. Fold over a strip of paper, glue it to the top and bottom, stopping right before the side edges. Cut thin strips of paperboard, glue two strips together, 
Place the plastic on the back side of the window frame. Glue the strips on the outer edge to make an inner frame around the plastic. Slide the plastic back and forth to make sure it has enough space to move. Apply glue to the paperboard. Glue it over the cutout for the window. Repeat on the other side to make a window that can open and close. Using a doll as a guide, measure. Cut cardboard. Cut several. Begin planning the furniture for the room. And I've cut some of the rectangles into smaller pieces to make a shelving unit that will go under the bed. Cover the cardboard with scrapbook paper, then glue the pieces inside the box, then add our plush mattress to make a platform bed. Or add another strip of cardboard to the other end, another platform near the top, add thin strips of covered cardboard around the bed and for a ladder to make bunk beds. In this small space to the side, we add small pieces of cardboard to make a bookcase. Cut and cover more rectangles of cardboard. Glue them together for a desk. Add a paper tube chair to finish it off. Use scrapbook paper, a printable, or a cork coaster to make a cork board. Use our printable outlets and light switches. For more detail, cut out the bottom half of our printable classroom door, then glue one inside and out. Add a room number and a bead for a knob to make a basic dorm room, ready for your dolls to add their own personal style and belongings. We can use fun printables from our blog to help them get started. Just cut them out and glue it to cardstock or paperboard to make a few accessories. Make more rooms so there's housing for everyone and you're done. Happy crafty! I am going to make a bunk bed for a doll using recycled paperboard, craft paint, a nail file, and glue. I start by laying out my paperboard so I can measure it to fit the doll. For a larger doll like an 18 inch, I would use stacks of cardboard for this project. Then cover the edges with paper. Cut on the line drawn. Repeat to make several. Stack and glue about six together or until it feels strong enough to hold the doll's weight. Then glue them together for the top of the bed. Make two more stacks of paperboard that are half the width of the top bed. Glue one to the back corner. Take the other and glue two smaller stacks of cardboard on the ends. Then glue it into the open space under the top bed. Measure another strip of paperboard. Stack and glue layers to make it strong. I slide it underneath to see if it fits. Then make two smaller stacks that can fit between them. Glue them in place. Paint the areas that will be hard to reach, including under the bed. Then glue the two pieces together. Glue a small stack of paperboard to the side, followed by another one on top to make a desk. Glue three short stacks to a longer one, then glue it underneath for a bookcase. Cut thin strips, stack and glue a few together. Cut the other ones down into smaller pieces. Glue them between the longer strips, then glue it to the side for the ladder. Sand the rough edges smooth, paint it. Once dried, we add a mattress from our custom plush doll bed video to the bottom bunk and the top. We add our favorite doll bedding, fold cut pieces of a knit fabric for blankets that can be stored under the bed or across the bottom. Add items from previous videos like doll board games, shoes, desk lamp, trophy, tablet, flute, Polaroid camera, textbooks, mini posters from our doll dressing room, a chair from our side table and chairs video. We even altered our doll message board video by making one out of paper to hold our printable theater tickets and Polaroid selfie pictures. And you're done. Happy crafting!
If I was going to make a bunk bed for like a 12 inch doll, I would start out with a photo storage box. Cover the bottom with some fun scrap looking paper. Then glue four bottle caps to the bottom side for feet. Once that is done, I'm going to stand it up and then take two single mattresses from our How to Make a Plush Doll Bed video, lay one inside and one on top. I'll make a ladder by using two wooden dowels and some cut popsicle sticks. Add your favorite doll bedding and you're done. Happy crafting! Thank you for joining us for this My Froggy Stuff mashup. Let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell. Follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff and The Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye!